guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Big Dog Eats. Thank you so much for tuning in and supporting the channel. We really appreciate it. For this week's cook, we're actually going to be making something we've never made before. Something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Duck breasts. All right, man, I'm not going to lie, Big Dog. These things look kind of weird. <laughs> well, they're duck breasts. They're not chicken breasts, so they're not going to look exactly the same. One of the things that I really like about duck and duck breasts in general is the fat that the skin basically produces a lot of fat which is really really tasty uh, duck breasts are supposed to be just a really decadent elegant dish and so that's why I'm really excited to try it out yeah I'm excited as well uh, we watch a lot of cooking shows and uh, this is something we've seen countless times and uh, I'm excited to actually give it a shot for ourselves. So. Well, not only that, but also, like I said at the very beginning of this channel like a year ago, there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to cook for the first time because I want to see how easy or difficult it is. That way, if you want to order these at home, you'll know exactly what kind of difficulty level it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited to try it out. So I've done quite a bit of channel research on this because I don't want to mess this up. And I'll tell you, this is probably going to be a very short video because the thing about a duck breast is they're not only very easy, but they're very quick. It's very quick and easy to make. All right, so what's going to be the first step here, man? All right, so the first step in this is we're going to go ahead and trim these things out. So I'm going to flip these over first and check. So if you notice, got a little bit of stuff that we've got to trim. It's not that bad. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this sinew and pull that off and I'll also grab this little piece of silver skin right here and we'll get that out of there as well and then we'll do the top of the chicken of the duck breast keep calling this a chicken breast he's been doing that all day guys <laughs> all right let me get the second one done and it just takes a apparently it just takes a couple minutes because these chicken breasts were actually already pretty much Oh, I didn't Trimmed know we were making chicken, honestly. Uh, I, keep, <laughs> <laughs> hey I guys, keep saying that, man. I'm not going to lie, guys. That's some pretty dark meat chicken right there. I normally chicken's a little bit more. Yeah, and while I'm cutting this up, I do want to say something else about duck. Duck is completely not like chicken in one regard. You don't have to cook this fully like you do chicken. This actually can be cooked medium to medium rare. That's a matter of fact, that's how duck is normally cooked. So that's basically how we're going to be cooking it today. And then what I'm going to do is also, I'm also going to go ahead and trim off the excess fat that's coming from the breast right here. There we go. Again, I am not a Michelin star chef, so my meat trimming skills you know, may not be as a professional chef, but you know what? It's not that bad. Let's go ahead and finish trimming this up. Then we'll turn it around and we'll get these prepared. Okay, so I've got that part trimmed out. So now it's time to do this top layer. Now what you're supposed to do with these, the top of the duck breast is we're going to score this. And the reason you do this is if you don't score this, when you cook it in the pan, it's going to shrink up not cook up very well. So the way you do that, you just take, first of all, you need to have a very sharp knife and you're just gonna very lightly, and you really, you're just using the weight of the knife to just cut little slits. You don't wanna go all the way through and you don't wanna cut the meat itself. A little back and forth action. A little there. back and forth action. And then I have to go this way and you're gonna do like a checkerboard almost. And this is called scoring the meat. All right, I'm going to do this to the other one, and then we'll get started in cooking this thing. All right, so now that our breasts are scored, all we have to do now is season them. And duck is a little different than other proteins. The only thing we're going to do is season them with salt, and that's it. What about a little bit of pepper? Actually? No, no pepper. All the research that I did is just salt. And you don't want to overdo it either. I'm going to flip these over. Do the same thing on the back side. Get a nice little layer of salt there. Nice. And now they're ready to cook. 
You want to take our duck and we're going to put him skin side down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You forgot to turn on the fan. You forgot to turn on no, the fan. No, 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 no. We are not. That's the one thing about duck. Duck is one of the few proteins that you want to put in the pan cold. Because what happens is as you bring this up, it is going to render that duck fat really well. If you put it in a hot pan, it's not going to render the fat nearly as much. So you want to start off with a cold pan and then slowly bring it up like we're about to do now. All right, guys. So one other thing I want to notice is I didn't trim this out nearly as well. Yeah, it's got a big old tail of just straight yeah, fat. We don't want that in there. Pull that off of there we while this is heating that. up. Yeah. <laughs> Guess it's kind of nice we have the cold pan. <laughs> yeah, and again, I'm Otherwise, not. Otherwise, you'd be on fire right now, brother. <laughs> Don't try this at home, guys. There we go. That took way too that took way too long to trim. I'll just tell you that right now. All right, it's been a few minutes, and our duck breasts are getting ready to start cooking. The other thing I wanted to note is I didn't put any oil, butter, or anything in the pan, and there's a reason for that. As these duck breasts cook, you're going to see a lot of oil come off these, a, a lot of fat, rather, come off these duck breasts. Uh, and it's going to basically cook in its own fat. Huh. And it only takes a few minutes to cook these. I'm not going to be cooking these for very long on either, either side. And then once we finish this, we're going to stick them in the oven for a few minutes to finish them off, and then they'll be done. This video is probably going to be one of our shortest videos because these things are going to cook super fast. Not going to lie, I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about this duck, man. I mean, I heard it's good. I know it's going to be Oh, dangerous. it's going to be it's But gonna it doesn't be look all that good right now, man. I'm not going to lie to you, really. It's going to be amazing, bro. I'm telling you right now, man. This is, this is the good stuff. And the other thing is, once we finish cooking these breasts, we are going to save the fat because duck fat is one of the best tasting fats that you can cook with. You're gonna save the duck fat? Oh yeah, absolutely. A lot of chefs use duck fat to cook fries with. Huh. French fries, yeah. Duck fries. Yep. All right, our duck breasts have been cooking for about three or four minutes. Let's take a look at what they look like. There we go. All right, okay. Nice little crust building. Nice little sear, man. Yeah. I like it, I like it, I like we're gonna it. Turn these again. Gonna cook them on this side for about a minute. Once we do that, we're gonna flip them back over on the skin side and put them in the oven and finish them off in the oven. Not gonna lie, these things have shrunk. <laughs> Oh, man. They look almost half the size than when we put them in there. I mean, it's more of an appetizer than a But also, than an look at all the fat that has come off. That's what I'm talking about. That stuff is gold. It really does smell good, too. I'm not going to lie. It that's, smells good. That's what they call chef's gold right there, duck fat. All right, now that these have cooked for about a minute, minute and a half, I'm going to go ahead and flip these. We're going to put them in the oven on 375 for about five to seven minutes and that'll cook them up fully, and then they'll be ready to go. If my calculations are correct, this should be about a medium. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start slicing this thing up and let's see how it looks. Ooh, it looks good. It actually does look pretty good. Actually might even be cooked a little bit more than I, ex than I wanted it to. Just cut them nice and thin. Let's take the second one. It's crazy how red the meat is when it's raw, but then it's almost like a... Yeah. Like it, a chicken or like a It almost pork. looks more like pork, actually. It kind of does look porky, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at the juice just pouring. Yeah. And it's going to do that. All right, man. I think uh, I think you're going to be the one to go first here. I man. am. I'm going to try it out. Now, I will let you know ahead of time. When we pulled it out of the oven, rested it, and started cutting it, I will say that the skin wasn't as crispy as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, we were expecting it to be almost like a yeah. pork belly. I think like maybe. Like a real like, dragger knife across it, and it makes like that, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And it did not do that at all. I think maybe the problem that I had, I don't think I cooked it quite enough initially. So I would say cook it a little bit longer, 
get a little bit more of a darker crust. Right before you flip it, you mean? Yeah, before you flip it, make sure that crust is a little bit darker. I think that I just didn't cook it enough on that skin side to begin with. So let's go ahead and try this out. All right, I've got this piece of duck. Let's try this thing out. And that's with the fat on it, guys. Mm -hmm. We are not taking off the, or the skin, the skin. We're not taking off the skin. Okay. Definitely doesn't taste like chicken. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> okay. That's a very unique taste. I actually like it a lot. Um, the skin, again, could have been a lot crispier. Other than that, the flavor of this duck is actually really, really good. It's a very mild flavor. The salt actually penetrated through the meat so you can taste the seasoning in it. And it's actually really good. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Let's see, you want to try this out, buddy? Yeah, yeah. I'm let's I'm do it. disbelief. Let's, right. let's give it a shot. All right, buddy. It's your turn. All right, guys. I guess it's my turn. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, it smelled great when we were cooking it, but, you know... I'm a little sketched out, man. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't look as good as I was thinking, but... You know, it shrunk so much. I can't believe how much it shrunk. Okay. Definitely more of a gamey smell to it. It definitely has that gamey flavor. Go ahead and pop it. See what you think. Okay. I'm popping it, but with caution. <laughs> I think you're going to like it, buddy. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Much different than you thought, huh? It's good though. It's, it's, it's darn good. You know what it's kind of like? It's kind of like a turkey-ish like in flavor. kind of has like that bird, that poultry. You are right. But the, the, the texture is almost like you're eating beef or lamb. It's got a lot of chew and, and, and fibrousness to it. It's good. That's it's the good. perfect way to describe that, yeah. actually, bro. It's good. Wow. Yeah, I think it'll go good with some, maybe some, some carrots or something, man. <laughs> I, uh, I'm ready to get after it. All right, guys. Well, that's going to about do it for this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching it. We really appreciate it. And I want to also let you guys know, this is obviously going to be our last video of 2022. We really appreciate a year on YouTube. You guys watched our videos, subscribing. I do want to let you know, for YouTube, the two things that we need to help our channel grow is to subscribe and to like our videos. If we could get everybody that watches this to throw a like, it will allow YouTube to share our videos to more people and we would really, really appreciate that. So with that being said, hold on. What? Hook us up with a like. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe or like. So at that point, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks again for watching. We really appreciate it. We look forward to a great year in 2023. See ya.